Hello everyone, it's Darlene. I am going to talk to you today about serenity and about living each moment. As I talk to you about this, I'm going to talk to you and go over the serenity prayer and something else in the Bible that helps us to deal very much with living in the moment versus trying to live in the future or definitely not living in the past. So we all go through times when we realize that things are just not always uh, in our best uh, uh, interest, um, at least at the moment. But later we find out that everything that we go through has something to do with making us the, the person that God wants us to be in the long run. This week has been a really, 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 really trying time. Um, as I uh, am going through getting older myself, uh, of course, other people around us, people that we love, are also getting older. And that happens to all of us at some point, unless uh, things work out differently, our parents get older. And sometimes the roles reverse. So this week, I've been dealing with that a little bit. And of course, when you have to deal with that, you start thinking about all the things that can happen, how things can end up uh, changing your life in a way that you not necessarily wanted it to change. Um, this will not be the first time that I've taken care of loved ones as they're getting older. So I know that as you do that, there is a blessing in it. Sometimes you can't see it as you're going through. But after you've made it through, you can see the blessing. So today, um, because other things were happening, life doesn't just stop because you have family situations, but life continues. And today was one of those days that it just was full of just a lot of mess. But I thank uh, my dear friend Jackie for reminding me of the serenity prayer. And the reason I'm so excited that she went over that with me is because most of us only know the first part of the serenity prayer. But she brought to my attention today the entire serenity prayer or what I found to be what appears to be the entire serenity prayer. And I'm going to go over that in a minute. I do want to give credit uh, of the serenity prayer to Reinhold Nienberg, and that's spelled N-I-E-B-U-H-R. Uh, he was accredited to this prayer, although some people question it, but this is who we're going to give credit to because this is the best source that I have. So let's talk about the serenity prayer and how it helps us to uh, develop serenity. Um, and before I go through the prayer, let's just say what serenity means. So serenity... Um, from the definition that I found, is the state of being calm, peaceful, and untroubled. Uh, and this is important. It doesn't mean that your whole life is at a peaceful situation or state, but when things are going on around you or happening to you, when you can be in that state of calmness, of peace, of being untroubled, okay? So let's talk about the serenity prayer. The part that most people know is where it says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. But this is where it continues. It says, living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as the pathway to peace, taking, as Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. 
Amen. Now, that to me is the best thing I could ever hear. Why is that? You know, we put so much emphasis on happiness. But I think that if we're realistic, we have to know that life happens. Things happen that are out of our control. And it's how we respond to those things. How we uh, make the best of those things. And how we make the best is to live each moment as best we can. Enjoy each moment as best we can. So I'm going to challenge you to do that. I'm going to challenge you as we live in a chaotic world as we live in a world that's full of uh, craziness, uh, of evil, find a way to live each moment the best way you can and to find those happy moments in it. Now, before I leave, I'm going to leave you with a Bible verse and it comes from Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, and it's the NIV version. It reads as this, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble for its own. A lot of times when we as Christians, as followers of Christ, uh, we try to encourage people um, to live a life that's similar to ours, um, we we fall short in uh, encouraging people because they get the wrong idea from us that life is always, uh, always like perfect, always without problems. But that's the exact opposite of the truth. The truth is you will go through things, okay? The truth is that things happen. The truth is that you do not have control. But also the truth is, is that the one who created you, regardless of how crazy it looks, is still in control. And he desires for us to live life. Okay? And to live it abundantly. So this is my prayer for you as you go through the the next several days, the next weeks, the next months, is to live each moment to its fullest. I hope this is blessing you. If it is, please share it with someone else. And may you have a blessed night. Enjoy. Talk to you later. Thank you for your time.